Winger Anthony Giorgio has now left Tottenham Hotspur Football Club and has signed for Cypriot side Limassol. Southampton have come out and said that they want to keep Danny Ings and are confident in doing so. Spurs are set to miss out on Napoli striker Arcadius Milik as it looks like he is off to France to sign for Marseille on loan. The Spurs women have just signed an England international from Manchester United on loan until the end of the season. And a former Tottenham Hotspur striker has come out and said that Spurs can't win the title unless they come out of their shell. Welcome back to another video. I hope you're all keeping safe and well. Today is Thursday the 21st of January. I'm going to go through all of the Tottenham news, all of the rumours and all of the reports from the last 24 hours. Also an update on the January transfer window as well. But before I get into it, if you don't subscribe to the channel already, please do hit that subscribe button. Let's start the video by talking about two results in the Premier League from Wednesday evening. Manchester City 2, Aston Villa 0 and Fulham 1, Manchester United 2. One game in the Premier League will take place later on this evening. Liverpool will host Burnley at Anfield. Now, Tottenham remain fifth in the Premier League. We are nearly at the halfway stage of this Premier League season. We have played 18, we have won 9, drawn 6 and lost 3, have a goal difference of plus 16 and we have 33 points. We are now 7 points behind league leaders Manchester United who have 40 points from 19 games and five points behind Manchester City and Leicester um, who have 38 points. I mentioned on this channel last week that Tottenham Hotspur would be selling midfielder Anthony Giorgio to AEL Limassol. Now, Tottenham Hotspur have confirmed this today and put out the following statement. We have reached an agreement with Cypriot first division side AEL Limassol for the transfer of Anthony Giorgio. Having come up through our academy system, the winger made his competitive first team debut for us in the UEFA Champions League victory at Apoel in September 2017 and subsequently had loan spells at Levante B in Spain, Ipswich Town and Bolton Wanderers. He has also been capped at international level by Cyprus. We wish Anthony all the best for the future. There has been lots of media speculation and lots of reports published in the last couple of days about the possibility of Spurs signing Southampton and England striker Danny Ings in the summer transfer window. Well, a report has come out today from the Evening Standard and they are stating that Southampton boss Ralph Hasenhoddle is positive the club will find a solution to keep contract rebel Danny Ings at the club. Danny Ings, 29, is out of contract in 18 months and is stalling on signing a new deal amid suggestions he would give himself the best possible chance to join a champion League club should the opportunity arise. The report then states that Tottenham are among the sides monitoring Ings' situation, having seen an inquiry rebuffed by Southampton last summer. Hasn't Hoddle Except the speculation will inevitably continue while the England international continues to stall on putting pen to paper, but believe Danny Ings wants to stay put. The Southampton boss talking about Danny Ings' situation said, as long as there is no sign of a contract, a new one, the question will not stop, I think. I can only say that we want him to stay here. We've shown as a club that we definitely want him to be here, definitely. And he's shown signals that he wants to stay with us. So I'm still positive that we are fine together for the future. He then went on to say, we also showed him what we don't want. Every time the contract of a player comes to an end, the power goes to the player. But I think it's not that easy. For us, it's important to show him we don't want to sell him. We don't want to sell him next summer. We want him to stay with us. He then went on to say, I don't want to say that we're responsible for this, but we helped him to be that strong. It's always a win-win situation if we can find a solution together. Now, please do let me know in the comments section below, how would you feel as a Spurs fan if Tottenham signed Danny Ings? And what do you think the chances of Daniel Levy getting this deal over the line for Tottenham Hotspur Football Club in the summer? In the summer transfer window, Tottenham Hotspur were heavily linked to Napoli striker Arcadius Milik. Report after report after report was published. Well, another one has come out today, this time from the Daily Mail, and they are stating that Tottenham Hotspur and Everton set to miss out on Napoli's Arcadius Milik as in-demand striker travels to France to complete loan move to Marseille despite Premier League interest. According to various reports, Marseille are closing in on the loan signing of Arcadius Milik from Napoli after beating Tottenham and Everton to his signature. 
The report then states that Milik has fallen massively out of favour at Napoli to the extent that he was left out of both their Serie A and Champions League squads, meaning he hasn't featured at all for them this season. Tottenham Hotspur and Everton were looking to capitalise on his tough situation at Napoli, but according to Sky Sports Italia, Marseille have got their man with Arcadius Milik travelling to France today to complete his medical. The report then goes on to say that Marseille will pay an £8 million loan fee plus £2.7 million in bonuses to Milik while giving 20% of a future resale to Syria uh, outfit Napoli. Milik has been desperate for regular first-team football after being frozen out in the summer and his loan move to France will give him valuable game time ahead of the Euros. Milik has opted for a switch to Marseille over Premier League sides Tottenham and Everton this January. Tottenham were reportedly in talks to sign Milik last September in a £25 million deal, but a move failed to materialise with Jose Mourinho looking for backup to talisman Harry Kane up front, but the addition of Carlos Vinicius has lessened their need for another central attacking option. Whilst making this video this evening, the Tottenham Hotspur women have just announced that they have signed England international Abby McManus. Um, the report on the website reads, We are delighted to announce the signing of Abby McManus on loan for the remainder of this season from Manchester United. The England international will wear the number 20 shirt. Abby joined the Red Devils in 2019 and has made a total of 25 appearances to date. Prior to this, the 28-year-old defender spent more than a decade with local rivals Manchester City, making over 110 appearances in two separate spells. Talking about the move, Abby said, I'm really excited to be joining Tottenham Hotspur, a big club with big ambitions. The team is in great form, winning three games on the bounce, and hopefully we can continue to build on those performances in the next few games and get to the top half of the table. I worked with Rianne Skinner recently when she was the assistant coach for England, and I'm looking forward to working with her again. I'm excited to be here, and I can't wait to get started. Former Tottenham Hotspur striker Darren Bent, now TV pundit, he has been talking to the Football Insider and he has stated that Pierre-Emil Hoybier recently demanded more bravery from Tottenham and Mourinho's side can't win the league unless they come out of their shell. Former Spurs striker Bent was talking about Tottenham and Jose Mourinho to the Football Insider and he said, I don't think there's a personnel issue because they've got good players. It could be something to do with Jose Mourinho's pragmatic approach to things where they go 1-0 up and he says, right, let's see this out. On some occasions that will work, but there's going to be a lot where it doesn't. You can't just try and win every game 1-0 and hit teams on the counter-attack. We see teams like Liverpool, where they've got the opposition on the ropes, where they will put the sword to the throat. That's why I never really thought that Spurs could win the league title. Darren Bent then went on to say, rather than actually going and winning, I always thought they would try and pinch the title by nicking one nils here and there. I don't think you can take a title like that. There's going to be games where you're going to have to go out there and win. Thanks for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please do put all of your thoughts and comments in the comment section below on everything I've spoken about in today's video. If you don't subscribe to the channel as yet, please do hit that subscribe button. Also, click the notification bell as well so you are notified every single time I upload a new video. Stay safe and well. I'll see you on the next video. Remember, the trophies are coming. Until the next video, come on you Spurs.